name's Ted Peruzzi. I'm with Physical Therapy Solutions here in Dyersville. And today I'm going to talk to you about a Q angle. A Q angle is an, a measurement in our leg that helps to, we kind of use to determine um, some pressures that can be placed on the knee. So specifically, the Q angle is this measurement here, and it's a line drawn from a point in the pelvis to your kneecap, and also the kneecap out to your hip. This angle here kind of helps to determine the amounts of stress or pressure on that knee. A typical Q angle for men is 14 degrees and for women is 17 degrees because of as women start to age or go through puberty, their, wide, their hips will widen a little bit and create that larger Q angle. Specifically for physical therapy, it does place more stress on a knee. It is one component that we kind of look at to determine um, risk factors for knee injuries. It's one reason that we do see young girls, female athletes, um, be at a greater risk for knee injuries. Um, they happen more often, specifically being ACL injuries. Um, as the hips do widen a little bit and it places more stress on the inside of the knee, you can create this kind of a valgus, we call it stress on the knee, which part of that can be built in through that Q angle um, becoming greater. Um, it's not something we can change. So it's something we do want to just be aware of as we work with clients um, in physical therapy. We're going to work on things that we can adjust or, or help with, such as hip strength, core strength, leg strength. Um, we can also address their feet. That can have a component onto how much stress is placed on the knee since we can't change their anatomy in that Q angle. If you have more questions on the Q angle or knee injuries, feel free to contact us at, our phys at the Physical Therapy Solutions in Dyersville or Manchester or on our website at www.ptsiowa.com. Thank you.